So you wanna know more about living in Detroit or its metropolitan area. Here's gonna be five pros and five kinds of things about Metro Detroit that you might not have known and that you probably should know before moving here. Make sure you stay to the end because I'll be giving you some things that you might not have thought about. What's going on everybody? My name is Ed Butler, I'm with Brookstone Realtors, and I make videos just like this one every single week, giving you what it's like to live, work, eat, sleep, and play in Detroit or its metropolitan area. If you wanna see more content like this, don't forget to go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me and tap that notification bell. Also, go ahead and hit the like button down below. It helps out a lot with the YouTube algorithm so more people can see the content that I make. I'm also a full-time realtor, so if you're thinking of making a move to Michigan or within Michigan, feel free to give me a shot. I'd love to have your back on your home buying or selling journey. And with that, let's hop into the list. So starting at the top, one of the great pros of living in Metro Detroit has gotta be the school system. We got a ton of great school districts in metropolitan Detroit. I know that the Detroit public school system gets a bad rap, but it's not as bad as everybody tries to make it out to be. Also disregarding the Detroit public school system, we have a ton of top rated school districts around the Metro Detroit area. Many of them are top ranked in the entire country. Our Novi School District, Northville, and Troy School District are all ranked in the top 100 in schools throughout the entire nation. Also, if you're looking for private schools, our Cranbrook School System is ranked in the top 50 in the entire nation. Michigan overall is ranked 17th in the nation in public schools, with Metro Detroit carrying the bulk of the top rated schools. So if you're thinking of making a move to Metro Detroit and you're worried about the school system, worry not, we got you taken care of. The next pro on my list is gonna have to be the lakes. I know Michigan is the Great Lakes state and we have the five Great Lakes and everybody knows about that. They taught you that in grade school. But what they didn't tell you about is the ton of lakes that we have here in Metro Detroit. Just in Oakland County alone, we have anywhere between 350 to 450 lakes just in that single county. And if you know anything about Metro Detroit, we have three counties that make up the bulk of Metro Detroit. That's gonna be Macomb County, Oakland County, and Wayne County. One of the cities located in Oakland County is gonna be West Bloomfield, Michigan. And they have about 24 lakes to themselves. Approximately 12% of West Bloomfield is covered in lakes. So if you're looking for a beautiful lake house or just love going onto the water in the summer, then Michigan or Metro Detroit might just be for you. Next on our list is gonna be the cost of housing. I'd be remiss as a realtor if I didn't talk about the housing prices here in Metro Detroit. The housing prices in Metro Detroit are significantly lower than the national average. The median home value in January of 2021 was 195,000 here in Metro Detroit. And that's compared to the 303,000 median value in the nation. So if you're looking for a place where your money can go a long way, buying a house here in Metro Detroit is probably gonna be one of your best bets. It's not uncommon at all to be able to go ahead and get a starter home around three beds, one and a half baths for under $200,000. We even have places here in Metro Detroit where you can get a fully renovated, brand new, almost brand new property for around 120, 130,000. The next pro on our list is gonna have to be the traffic or the lack thereof of traffic. So in Metro Detroit, we have about three major highways and that's gonna be I-75, I-94, and 696. 75 kind of runs up and down, 696 runs this way, and then 94 kind of does one of these deals. And pretty much the only time that you're gonna be stuck in traffic is during rush hour. And that's where everyone is getting up and going to work, kind of like in pretty much any other major city, or if they're doing road construction. They've been doing road construction on I-75 almost nonstop for like five years, but you know, that's gotta let up sometime. But outside of that, it's pretty much smooth selling in Metro Detroit. Then rounding out our pros is gonna be the diversity in Metro Detroit. Metro Detroit has a very diverse population all over its different counties. We actually have the largest Arab American population in the entire country. And Detroit itself is home to about 80% African American population. And that number is kind of doing them a little bit down because more and more diverse groups keep moving to the city of Detroit. So pretty much anywhere in Metro Detroit, whatever your background is or ethnicity, there's gonna be a place for you to call home and feel comfortable doing so. Now, it wouldn't be me if I didn't keep it real with you and go into some of these kinds. So before you make your move to Metro Detroit, you gotta know that 
number one, you're gonna have to pay a little bit more in property taxes. So Michigan actually has the 14th highest property taxes in the entire nation, with on average, your effective tax rate being 1.45%. So what this means is, so your home costs 200,000, you're gonna end up paying around, right around 2,900 a year in taxes for the average home in Michigan that costs about 200,000. But all that is subjective based on the school district, county, and city that you live in. Check with a local realtor or the local tax assessor, or I'll drop a link below to the website that you can use to estimate your taxes before moving to Michigan. Now you're probably saying, man, I thought Michigan was cheaper at cost of living. Well, it is because if you compare it to our Midwestern counterpart, Illinois, for that same $200,000 house, you'll be paying about $4,500 in Illinois. And don't even get me started if you want to go out east. Let's say in New Jersey, that same house is going to be at least $5,000 in taxes. So the taxes are a little bit higher, but guess what? Those schools that I mentioned, they kind of go into good use. The next kind is going to be really no way around it. It's going to be the winners. Everybody knows that the winners in Michigan aren't the greatest and they can be very, very long. But if you're from a state where you guys are used to having maybe what they call a snow day, um, that's not gonna happen here. Some states, like let's say Atlanta, if they get like a little bit of snow, the entire city shuts down. You don't have to go to work, kids don't have to go to school. Well, here in Michigan, oh, it has to snow snow for us to shut this place down. Cause you can expect to have snow here in Metro Detroit. So it has to be a very significant storm for the schools to get shut down and then your employer that's going to be subjective so can't really say that they'll shut it down for that but if you want to get a gauge of what the winter is like the average temperature in february is right around 26 degrees so you know you're gonna have to buy what they call a big coat but with that it's always great to have what we call it as a white christmas so you're gonna have snow on the ground on christmas on most years and be able to snowball fight and build snowmen get your Elsa on, you know, have a little fun. The next kind is gonna to have to be the auto insurance costs. So no one's talked to you about auto insurance costs about moving to Metro Detroit. Well, this is something that you need to know. On average, you can expect to pay about 2,600 a year for auto insurance, 2,600 a year. That's the highest in the entire nation. This is about 82% higher than the national average, which is right around 1,600 a year. Like you can expect to pay more for your car than you can for your property taxes. That's crazy. I talked about it a little bit more in this video right here. Check that out after this one. But these prices are in part due to Michigan being what they call a no fault state, which basically means that if you get into an accident, regardless of who's at fault, then your insurance company is gonna to have to foot the bill. I can remember at my previous job, I had a buddy who got relocated to here in Metro Detroit. And he was thinking that he was gonna buy a car and then get insurance for like 60 bucks on his wife's car. I said, buddy, you're gonna to learn today. I said, that's 60 bucks that you think you're gonna to have to pay? That's gonna be really closer to bring me like 200 bucks. And he called me about three months after that when he got here in Michigan and said, bro, you were right. I can't believe these insurance costs. There's been some recent bills that have passed that are helping to lower our insurance costs. And I've been seeing a positive impact so far. For the vehicles my wife and I own, we pay on average right about $180 per month. So a lot lower than that average figure because we've seen a lot of these things start to adjust and come down if you shop your rate and you're paying attention. And lastly, I kind of alluded to it a little bit before, but the heavy construction here in Metro Detroit, it's almost endless construction on our roadways because our roadways are kind of terrible. We actually are ranked number nine in having the worst roads in America. And because of that, it almost feels like it's always construction season here in Michigan, except for the winter. And even in the winter, they kind of leave those construction barrels out there. So you got to kind of drive around them. So it's kind of a little bit of a pain. But you're going to want to make sure you got your eyes peeled on the road because you don't want to hit those potholes and mess up your car. Because that's something that you just don't want to do. But with that, eventually they'll get all the roads fixed. And then we'll be investing a lot heavier in infrastructure in the years to come because the population is increasing. So we'll have more tax dollars to be able to foot the bill for these things. And I expect the roads to be a lot smoother in the coming years here in Metro Detroit. There are a ton of other pros and a few cons that I missed in this video. If you could think of any, go ahead and drop them below. But if you got any value or learned anything in this video, go ahead and hit that like button for me. It goes a long way to helping the YouTube algorithm and getting this video out to a lot more people. As always, my name is Ed Butler. Make sure you go ahead and hit the subscribe button before you leave. Tap the notification bell so you don't miss any of the videos I put out. And I'll catch you on the next one.